Kawhi Leonard's a win away from capturing his second NBA championship, will have a chance to become the third player to win two finals MVPs by the age of 27, joining Magic Johnson and Tim Duncan. Back then, nobody would have thought Leonard would be this good, let alone become the best player in his draft class easily, and now in the discussion for arguably the best player in the game. How's it going guys, my name's Wilson, we all remember Kyrie Irving as the first overall pick in the 2011 draft, but there were a couple buses drafted ahead of Kawhi. Where are they now? Derek Williams. Before the draft even started, there were ongoing debates on who should go number one between the electrifying point guard Kyrie Irving out of Duke with insane handles or the most athletic player in college hoops Derek Williams. Had all the upside and potential in the world with insane athleticism out of the University of Arizona, made a huge name for himself in the NCAA tournament when he dropped 32 points, 13 rebounds, and an upset against number one seed Duke in the Sweet 16. While Leonard, who's only a month younger than Williams, was a sophomore at San Diego State at the time. Both Williams and Leonard made second team All-American, but Williams had the more eye-popping numbers and was more flashy in a bigger powerhouse program. Experts compared Leonard to Luke Baamute and Gerald Wallace with great defensive upside but shaky offensively. Williams went on to be selected second overall by the Minnesota Timberwolves where his game didn't translate to the big leagues, was too undersized to play the power forward position, and wasn't skilled enough at the three, was terrible shooting the ball, but didn't make all-rookie second team being being stuck in a horrible franchise, Williams was later traded to the Kings for Lupa Amute after just 11 games into his third season. D. Will struggled to fit in off the bench, was picked up by the Knicks in the 2015-16 season, where he's shown glimpses of his potential as an energy guy off the bench, averaged over 9 points, 3 rebounds, but still couldn't shoot or stretch the floor. At 24 years old, his NBA career was already in jeopardy. Stuck with bad teams, New York simply let him go the following season, where Miami picked him up, played limited minutes off the bench was waived in February of 2017. While Kawhi was arguably a top 5 player in the NBA at the time, Kyrie was a superstar on the Cavs. After signing 10 two-day contracts with the defending champs, Cleveland decided to pick him up for the rest of the season, but had little to no impact whatsoever. Wrote the bench, appearing in a total of 8 playoff games, 10 total minutes in the finals. Cleveland could have used him as another body to throw at Kevin Durant. No team signed him after the season, so he took his talents to China with the Tianjin Gold Lions of the Chinese Basketball Association, would go on to average 20 a game, earned a 10-day contract with the Lakers in the 2017-18 season, desperately seeking for a comeback and fighting for his NBA career, LA decided to part ways with him after. Recently signed with the FC by a Munich basketball club in February of 2018, the 28-year-old's NBA future remains a question mark. Jan Vesely, who was the 6th overall pick by the Washington Wizards. Many young NBA fans today probably never heard of him. From the Czech Republic, the 7-foot big man Vesely, alongside Enos Kanter, was two of the most hyped international prospects in the 2011 draft. Was compared to the likes of Mike Dugleavy and Andre Karolinko with his quickness to run the floor and hustle, but he was an absolute disaster in the NBA. Played a total of 3 seasons, was traded to the Nuggets in his 3rd season, averaged 3.6 points, 3.5 rebounds, and a 162 total games, was basically out of the league by age 23, but he's had plenty of success overseas, playing excellent ball in the EuroLeague, won the EuroLeague championship in 2017, was named EuroLeague MVP in 2019, after averaging over 12 points a game, signed a 3 year contract extension with Filibate. Also made all EuroLeague first team three times in 2016, 18, and 19, and will have plenty of basketball left at 29 years old. Bismack Biombo, drafted right after Vesely, the former seventh overall pick was selected by the Sacramento Kings. Viewed as nothing more than an average role player, the 6'9 center was immediately part of a three-team trade. Sacramento ended up with another boss, which we'll get to shortly. While Biombo just finished his eighth season in the NBA and surprisingly still only 26 years old out of the Democratic Republic of the Congo, there's been some conspiracy theories on Biombo's real age. Whether he's a couple years older, we don't know that for sure. Having career averages of 4.9 points, 6.3 rebounds, Biombo played with Charlotte his first four seasons before spending a year with the Raptors, having a monster game 3, grabbed 26 rebounds, setting a postseason franchise record, arguably the best game of his career, followed by a huge game 4 performance in the Eastern Conference Finals in 2016 against the Cavs, snatched 14 rebounds, helping Toronto win both games, the Raptors hasn't beaten LeBron in the postseason without him since. Making a big difference, Orlando for whatever reason gave him a fat 4 year $70 million contract. 
averaged around 20 minutes a game on a bad team. Orlando sent him back to Charlotte on a three-team trade. Made $17 million alone this season, 17 next season. He's nothing more than a slightly below average role player making big bucks. Last year, Biombo was getting paid only a million dollar less than what Dwight Howard was making in his final season with the Magic in 2012. After his contract's up, I won't be surprised if Bismack Biombo will be out of the NBA in a couple years. And of course, Jimmer Fredette, who was selected 10th overall by the Milwaukee Bucks, ended up with the Kings on a three-team deal. Jimmer Mania was at the height of his fame during his college years at BYU, was virtually unstoppable scoring the ball, had Steph Curry range, was picked five spots ahead of Kawhi Leonard. At just 6'2", Jimmer put up a staggering 28.9 points his senior season, won Naismith Player of the Year on January 26, 2011, in the classic collegiate game against the number 4 ranked 20-0 San Diego State team against Kawhi Leonard, Jimmer dropped 40 that game, destroyed everybody with his rise to stardom off the roof. The BYU legend was one of the most anticipated rookies, but only averaged 7.6 points his rookie season off the bench with the Kings, but his number 7 jersey was sold out in many stores in Sacramento and around the world. But right away, Jimmer didn't have the quickness to get his shot up against elite NBA players, struggled mightily on defense, was an undersized 2 guard, and was even beaten out as the Kings starting point guard by the 60th overall pick Isaiah Thomas. He also had a huge ego, who was unwilling to play the point as a facilitator, was known as just a scorer, didn't make his teammates better. According to Michael Lee of Yahoo Sports, one of Jimmer's former assistant coaches said, he thinks everybody's stupid, he thinks everybody needs to come and turn over the offense to him and just let him shoot anytime he wants, that's not how the NBA works. Fredette bounced around for 5 seasons, from Sacramento, to Chicago, to New Orleans, to New York, from the G League, simply struggled to get playing time, then decided to sign with the Shanghai Sharks in summer of 2016, and absolutely dominated! Where he had the freedom to run the offense, having the ball in his hands most of the time, he just went insane. Constantly dropped 40, became an instant celebrity in China, even dropped 73 points on 10 three-pointers right after his 28th birthday. Averaged 37.6 points his first season in China as the CBA MVP, continued to dominate two more years with the Sharks, was basically a basketball god there, before earning another chance for a comeback with one of the worst teams in the Phoenix Suns, agreed to a two-year deal, received the team option for the second season, played in six games towards the end of the 2019 season, Aris 3.7 points off the bench, whether he will succeed in the NBA remains a question mark, but if the 30-year-old is able to adapt and has a coach who believes in him, anything's possible. Those were the four bosses who were drafted ahead of Kawhi Leonard in the 2011 NBA Draft. Leonard was actually selected by the Indiana Pacers, but San Antonio's genius front office stole him away, treating him and a couple players for George Hill. Just imagine what it would have been like if Kawhi played with Paul George in Indy. Thank you so much for watching this video. I love all of you. See you next time.